Hey guys, it's Ty here. Happy Monday, Q&A day number three. Let's do a wristwatch check first. I've got my 1998 Rolex Submariner date on the wrist and three of your questions. So the first question is from Kitty Time 2000 and they just wrote quartz versus mechanical. So Kitty Time, I would have to choose mechanical watches though I own and love quartz as well, but there's something about having the heartbeat of a watch on my wrist, knowing that the movement of my wrist is giving it life that I really, really love. And I, I wanna say I really appreciate manual wine watches as well. The next question is from May and June, and they wrote, I'm looking to add a Speedmaster to the collection. What's been your favorite? So I would say I've owned about four Speedmasters, uh, May and June. My favorite has been the first Omega in Space. I love the history of that watch, the connection with Wally Shira. I love that vintage case design, the no crown guards, that applied Omega logo, the beautiful brown leather strap that it comes with. So that I would, if you can get that watch for a good price, I would pull the trigger for sure. I'm hoping to rebuy that in the next year, actually. Let me know which one you go for. And the last question, guys, is from a good friend of the channel, The Loom Room, and they wrote, uh, he says, do you have any appetite for Patek, AP, or VC? So let's start with Vacheron Constantine. I would say I am not a fan of Vacheron Constantine. I don't like the overseas. Uh, they have a couple of dress watches, I think, uh, that are good looking, but honestly, guys, I would not put my money on a Vacheron Constantine. I know that the history of the brand is incredible, and of course, the um, craftsmanship is there, but for me, it just doesn't pull at my heartstrings. Uh, uh, Audemars Piguet is pretty similar. I don't really like the offshore. I think it's a little bit gaudy. Uh, I do like the Royal Oak uh, and of course the history of that watch, um, Ger uh, Gerald Genta. But I would say, um, I don't know if I would buy one, to be honest. I'd rather get a Patek Philippe. My favorite watch and my grail actually for a very long time has been the Aquanaut. I believe it's the 4176A, 40 millimeters, rubber strap, that sort of waffle dial. It's got a date. The movement on the back is exquisite. So uh, I actually thought maybe in my 60s or 70s, you know, when I'm done with the hobby, sell all the watches that I've accumulated and just have an Aquanaut. And I feel like for me, that would be the epitome of a one watch collection, a perfect one watch collection. So guys, let me know what you think down below. Are you fans of these brands? Uh, share your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it and I will talk to you soon.